Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohamed Ali. So in the previous few tutorial we left here. Okay, so first of all uh, make sure to change this from project to Android. Okay, so these are our project file inside the app. We have our Java uh, Java file which is our main activity for now and then inside the res which is the resource activity main.xml file which is over this file so now the next thing is to to design our activity main.xml file first of all go to the text and here what we gonna do select this constant layout and we have to change this to relative layout and now we have to remove this text view from here and click on this resource ok and here we have this values and inside it we have this colors.xml and change this first color to hash capital B capital F 007 capital A and this is the color and also change this one to the same color which is over this one but later on we will change this color primary dark ok to some other color so yeah that's it now close this and you can see this and now we have to go to the styles.xml and make sure to change this to no action bar. So, first of all, let me tell you, link will be given in the description down below, okay, to all these icons which we will be using in this app. So, you can simply uh, download all these icons from there, okay and then copy all these icons and then go to the Android studio and here we have our drawable folder click here show in explorer drawable and paste all your icons here if I show you then these are the icons so now the next thing is here we need to add an image view so you can simply say image view 300 dp and the height will 100 dp let's give it id so the id will be f underscore logo and it should be at the center so we can simply say center horizontal layout center horizontal to true and margin from the top should be 60 dp and now we have to add the source and the source will be inside the drawable folder we have just pressed all our icons so it is by the icon is by the name app logo which is this one beautiful icon and also here we need to add a background so you can simply write background and inside the drawable folder we have a background by the name welcome okay which is this one so this looks amazing you can see that i mean this is incredible you will just love it now after that we need to add a text view just to uh, display the slogan of our app like I mean what we are going to tell the customer about this app so it should be 220 dp and height should be wrap content let's give it some id so the id for this should be app underscore slogan and now we have to align it so align parent end to true align parent top to true and margin from the end should be at 8 dp now let's move it from the top from the top it should be 140 dp let's add a text to it and it will be uh, find discover or instead of that we can say find yeah it is good i mean find discover or you can give it any uh, favorite your favorite slogan to it find discover choose and buy anything online so yeah now what next we have to give it text alignment and it should be at the center and the text color should be primary color primary text size should be 22 sp and the text style should be bold and this if you want to make it italic then you can simply write this symbol which is this one okay this perpendicular type and then after that you can simply type italic if you want to make it italic otherwise bold is also enough for it 
but since I want to make it italic also so I will do it like that so it looks more beautiful so now here we need to add a button two buttons basically so let's do it it should be match parent wrap content and first this is our button basically okay or the add the top but before we do that we need to create a design for our buttons okay so click here on this drawable new drawable resource file and give it a name as buttons click ok and this is the file first of all make sure to change this to shape and now inside here we can simply type solid and then close this and now here we can say color color primary dark and the next thing is to give it some corners so that it can look beautiful so we can say corners close this and here we can say radius 15 dp and now let's create another one for the uh, input types i mean for the edit text or drivable resource and let's give it a name as uh, inputs or you can say edit text basically we will do it for the edit text so let give it a proper name that is input underscore design okay so this will be basically for the inputs or you can say for the edit text so now click text and here we can first change this to shape and here we need to add stroke close this and here you can add color and the color will be the same color primary dark and the width will be 3 dp and it let's add corners to it also so the corner let's radius radius will be 15 dp so yeah that's it now here we can say let's first give it id this will be our welcome as this is our welcome activity or you can say our home activity from where our app will start okay so we can give it a name as uh, let's say main join underscore now underscore btn which means button let's first add a login button i mean login will be good okay so main underscore login button and then we can say align parent bottom to true align parent start to true and margin from the bottom should be 10 dp and from the left it should be 15 dp and from the right the margin should also be 15 dp let's add a background to it which we created for the button so you can say background and it is by the name buttons let's give it some padding from all these sides and it should be 20 dp text all caps to false text size should be a tnsp and now we have to add some text to this button so the name of this button will be already have an account which is basically means login it's question mark and then you can simply type login and the text color for this button will be white so you can simply type text color and it should be at the right and draw it then type white and this will give you this suggestion which is the white color so it is amazing perfect now we need to add another button okay so for the time saving i am just going to copy paste this button so copy then paste that here first of all make sure to change the id and this one will be our join underscore now button match parent wrap content remove this start bottom true okay from here and from the bottom it should be 5 dp and we have to move it below above uh, above the uh, login button so what i'm going to do here i can simply type above and here you can see this layout above id and copy the id of this login button copy this paste that id here and here we can see this and the next thing is 
to change this background for this button to inputs input design okay and here you can see this this looks really cool and change the name of this button to join now and yeah this is all about our main activity so this looks amazing isn't it and now we have to uh, enable these buttons okay so come here and here we need to simply say private we have just two buttons the first one is the join now button and the second one is the already have an account button which basically means login button as we already wrote there I mean this one okay so yeah and here we can simply say join now button equals to button find you by id or dot id dot and the name of our that id of our that button is main join now button and let's copy paste this for this login button also so copy this and paste that here and change this to login button and the id for that is main login button so yeah that's it now in the next video we will uh, set a click listener on these both buttons when we will be working on the login and uh, sign up activity or you can say register activity so now let's uh, test our app so that we can see how it looks so our app is running now successfully and you can see the design this looks really beautiful and amazing so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe thumbs up for this video and don't forget to follow me on my twitter and instagram account and also on facebook so yeah take care of yourself and bye for now